Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to your boy Professor NJ, and I'm here to show you the first official look on my first unboxing video on YouTube. Now, this one's a little bit special because I'm going to be unboxing a PS4. Now, you're probably wondering why am I unboxing a PS4 because I already have one. I haven't been actually using my own PS4. It's my sibling's PS4, but now I have my own PS4. But this one's a little bit more special because it's the limited edition God of War PS4. can't tell I'm super excited to crack this bad boy open now on the cover we obviously got the PS4 and the controller and then obviously Kratos and I think his name is Atreus I'm not too certain but obviously when I start to play the game I'll, I'll know the names and the proper pronunciations and everything for the characters but we got the box here looks fantastic um, all around it's just obviously that Norse mythology look We got this sick little picture of Kratos <laughs> looking at the, the landscape of wherever he is right now. And then a nice little sleek picture of Kratos. Now, let's get started. Before I fully get started, I want to give a nice little shout out to Sony for making a nice console here. Um, and also coming out with another God of War installment. I'm a big fan of the game and I'm, I cannot wait to see what is in store when I actually start playing the game. Now, let's actually get started with the unboxing. So I'll take my box cutter, because I don't want to do too, too much damage to the box. Um, slice up the sticker obviously at the top. Empty. This obviously looks better than the one that um we originally had, or the one that we actually have. I'll show you guys the comparison between the, the Pro, and I think that's the original, the, the super original model, like the OG model for PS4. But nothing too fancy with the box, the actual box inside the system, or inside the box. The shell, inside the shell. Um, just says PS4 Pro all around. Maybe not the bottom. Nope, just some kind of skew and a serial number. So, um, at the top, we got a quick start guide for the PS4 Pro. Um, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. I really don't need this shit. It's, you, you really do not need this. Like, come on now. But it's one of the contents in the box, so we'll leave that out in the open. Uh, again, this is what it looks like inside so far. So on the, I'm gonna call this the right side or my right side. There's like a little box here that you can pull up. This box has. Essentially, I guess all of the cables for the system, um, power cable, um, a USB plug or a micro USB for the controller. Um, I'm trying my best to not root this shit because <laughs> if it was my own, like, or not to say my own, if it was something else, I would mangle the system or mangle the box. And we have the, what? the controller. Oh, oh, hold on. HMI cable and the Sony microphone for when you're playing online. Um, I won't be using this ever on my Turtle Beach or my Beats. Um, this really isn't that much that I really needed. I have an HDMI cable, but it's always good to have more HDMI cables, so I'm grateful for this one. 
but we have the sick looking um, God of War controller. Um, wow, like, wow, this actually looks like fantastic. Um, it's kind of like silver. It has God of War written on the the plate right here or the touchpad. Um, has like an engraving right there. Like it, it actually looks like a solid controller. Like this looks solid. This looks proper. Mind you, I won't be using this one. I have two other controllers that I will be using. Actually, I can show you in, in, in one second. So this is the first controller I ever got when I started playing the PS4 on the original system. I have obviously thumb grips and whatever. Um, and this is my other controller that was custom made for me um, for Christmas. Thankfully by my lady. Love you. And boom, has one of my names or one of my favorite names written on the back. Um, as you can see, I'll drop a description or a link in the description to show you where you can get this controller from if you're interested in getting it. But this was just for reference sake to show you the difference between um, the controllers. So it's this one, the custom made one, and then obviously the God of War one. And then we have the other controller, the basic Sony one. Boom. So these are not really part of the actual video, but this is just reference sake, so I'll put these over here for the time being. Uh, next, we have the rest of the contents, which um, is clearly the system. And we have, what is that? physical copy to God of War, the most recent installment of God of War. This, this, I'm actually glad for this. Like, I'm really happy for this. Really, really, really happy for this because with the Uncharted one, we didn't get a disc, we got a voucher. And I'm not really with the vouchers and stuff because it just feels, it doesn't feel the same as having a disc. So this, this is actually like, I'm grateful. Like, I'm really grateful for this one. Um, I'm just gonna put this to the side. Obviously, I'll crack this bad boy open in a little bit. I'm gonna show you the real contents, or if there's any other things inside that box other than just the disc. And last but not least, we have drum roll, please. <laughs> Yo, none other. delicate bad boy I have no idea which way this is right now if it's up or down or but we have the PS4 the actual PS4 now I'm to assume this is upside down yep definitely upside down so obviously this, this design is like ridiculous. Like this is a beautiful design. Um, if you look, it looks like the weapon that Kratos possibly wields in the game. Uh, it just looks crazy. Like this is crazy. I have no idea. Like I'm at a loss of words. It's just, <laughs> it's definitely better than the standard version of like a black PS4. You get this nice engraving. Um, you get a nice gold PS4 or yellow. I'm gonna call it gold. Make myself feel fancy. You get a gold PS4 logo, and you get like this nice design here. But it's like a nice gray, like a nice sleek gray. So it just looks appealing. It's, overall, it's all appealing. This is just fantastic. And I just love the way it pops. And the last little bit here, um, we have the some kind of engraving here, some gold engraving going all along the second panel on here. And then we have um, some kind of text, I guess. I don't know. Um, what it says, what it means. Maybe it's something that's in the game. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just for added decoratives or whatever, but it's going to be interesting to see if these are something that's in the game. Um, last but not least, we got on the bottom the PS4 logo, obviously. Um, and obviously the buttons, I guess, as grips to hold down your system. And in the back, you definitely have, as per usual, um, 
the section where you put your cables, HDMI, power cable, um, digital optic, I think this is called, and I forget what else is in the back, but I'm completely excited to actually finally have my own PS4 and to actually be able to use this as the new thing to promote my content or put out new content for you guys. Now, to show you guys the difference between PS4s, I'm going to bring to you the OG PS4 and compare it beside this one. So as you can see here, we got the OG PS4 and then we got the new PS4. Um, the Leviathan Gray or whatever type of gray um, PS4. But obviously there's com a complete difference. Um, it's a little bit bigger. Um, hasn't been made apparent to me, but the USB ports are right here. They're over here, 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 here. Um, and the power button and the eject button are here. Power, or the power button and the eject button would be right there. So, you know, this is just going to be fantastic to actually be able to use. Now, last but not least in this unboxing video is unboxing this son of a gun. Boom. Lastly, we got the game. Now, I don't think it'll be any different than, say, I was going to open up a game of fighters or a game of whatever. It just looks like I'm getting a standard edition, a standard edition of the game. And um, we shall see. So boom, oh, never mind. So it definitely did include some um, digital content inside. Thankfully, um, this proved me completely wrong. Um, we got um, digital content and it includes Death of Thou armor set, Exile Guardian Shield, um, the God of War digital comic made by Dark Horse Comics. Um, I definitely will be checking that out. I get a digital art book by Dark Horse Comics as well, and a dynamic theme. So, this is actually pretty buff. Like, this is a buff, 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 um, I guess, pre-order bonus, or purchaser bonus. So, <laughs> shouts out to Sony for this one. I was not expecting to get something like this. I was expecting to see, like, one of those slips that say, oh, um, digital, the menu, or the manuals digitally on online or whatever. But, um, pretty much, boom. The disc um it doesn't say like a god of war number or whatever just boom god of war i don't even know what number this would be now they have like a bunch of god of war games it's like probably like seventh game now yeah probably like seventh game now or sixth if we're not including um like the remasters and stuff but we have a nice little picture in the back with him fighting like some kind of undead army this is fantastic. It's a cool image, like it's a really cool image. But yeah, this <laughs> this concludes the unboxing video. Thank you guys for tuning in. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to see more of my content.